all lies will be exposed. Oh, absolutely. Now, listen, first of all, I do read the live stream chat before we do go live. So, Kiki, I'm so glad that you have a day off today. So dance off, pants off to you. OK, so much love to you, my entire viewing audience. We got ourselves a great show today and joining me as my co-host for not one segment, but for the entire show. Give it up. You know, him. you love them. Who are these people? Who who is it? Who are you? Who are these people? Who What's up, guys? What's up, everybody? What's up, everybody? Who are oh. these people? Uh, who uh, what what is going on? How are all of you doing? So, Indy, Indy, my friend, you reached out to me earlier this week because there's something you want to promote here. Uh, do you? Uh, by the way, can you send me that link if you haven't done so already? Because I do want to make sure that we get all that playing. But uh, there is an award ceremony. Sure that is happening that inn is doing for not one not two but third consecutive year in the uh, in a year in a row i stuttered there for a second uh and it is a fantastic thing that we were the original class of and since then it has been expanding and growing and i love every single minute of it it is the indie news awards which is something i have to give a full salute to so uh indy tell us what is going on so it's the Indie Media Awards uh, Sunday night. We're going to reveal the class of 2024. So Absolutely. a couple of years ago, I turned to Misty Winston. Everybody knows and loves uh, so, car, so, bleh, Comrade Misty, Sarcasm Stardust. So Misty and I were working on some stuff right there. Uh, that's on the left is refreshed and then uh, announcement. No, no. Oh, 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 the, oh. sorry the about left, that. Left, back. To the right announcement, uh, third one down. Uh, you were there. Down, uh, down. Ah, uh, there you go. Oh, now there you go. Ah, uh, there you all go. All over the place. <laughs> okay. So, the deal is, we oh. hold on. Sorry we created an, a we we created a series of awards. All right. The reason why is because independent media gets no recognition. That's not why you do what you do. That's not why most of us do what we do. We don't get the big paycheck. We're not here for the money. We're here to correct the record and to correct what corporate media is doing. And that's not, that doesn't get a lot of love from, you know, recognition from agencies, from, you know, awards in general. So I turned to Missy and I'm like, you know what, let's do something for the independent media community. So we created the Indie, the Indie Media Awards. Uh, the first year we had 38 members and it's to honor live streamers, podcasters, outlets, journalists, activists which we've added this year video creators we added a few last year and really it's to honor who are the best of the best of the best of the people that have gotten it right most consistently over time that that people have you know and, and it doesn't even have to be somebody who's incredibly well known and popular but somebody whose body of work speaks for itself right, and exactly. that was really the idea behind the indie media award so let's uh, let's actually I put together this this yeah, this little 40, you know, this little trailer I put together. Let's put that out there. That's right. So if you don't got to get All it, right. you don't get it, you better go ahead and figure it out. But that looks like, again, good good stuff right there. Uh, indeed, really, really liked it. That was awesome, dude. That was, that was Thank awesome. you. So, so, so Sunday right. night on, on How Do We Miss That, we're going to reveal the, the, the new class, the 2024 honorees. And there aren't as many. Look, we named a lot of them in the first two years, and it's going to shrink and get smaller because – We've named a lot of the trusted sources, and now we've th these are people who have proven themselves and vetted over time. So what we're then going to look for are people that have been around for a couple of years, that have been trusted and have done the right things and and have contributed to the community and 
um, are again countering the corporate narrative with with actual reporting and with you know I don't even know how to describe it, but you know there are people that have set up different uh, uh, all kinds of of channels from uh, online newsletters and newspapers to uh, YouTube and and Rumble and channels that have pioneered different networks. Wow! So, uh, so I, I see I, somebody I, saying. Go ahead. Kevin Gostola needs one. Uh, Kevin Gostola has one. He was in the inaugural class, actually. Oh, these are okay. the kind of independent. These yeah. are the kind of independent journalists that, that we honor. Okay, so I think I think a lot of people. Uh, so one person, I think one of our viewing audience members on Kick, give it up for Dr. Nick. Who votes on the winners? How are they nominated? Are there categories? Is there any kind of engagement, or is this just like what you guys are doing? Like, can you let us know what's going on with that? Because I think some people are asking some of that question. It's the same question on Rumble. Yeah. And yeah, the it's really decided by the INN members. Um, okay. We it, it's based upon the content that we use most in our shows, okay. uh, the websites that we use, you know, to pull news articles, and the live streamers and and the news, you know, the pundits slash what are your analysts that they get it right most often. Okay, mm. people like the gray zone, people like common dreams and truth out. But but also off Guardian that people may not have necessarily heard of, uh, okay. and and that's the idea is that and Hardlands Media you know uh, Hardlands Media is an award winning outlet uh, you know uh, so so that <laughs> is yes they do there are categories so so we've got four we got uh, six categories now we have top journalists okay and and uh, this is by year what, what you're looking at there that's 2022. Mm -hmm. um, so you got top journalists, and then you got top independent outlets, and you got top top live streamers and podcasters is one category. Top mm -hmm. video creators, all right. There's Man. your journalists right there. So you've got Man. John Pilger, and C.J. Hopkins, and Matt Taibbi, and Stefania Marizzi, Dan Cohen, right, hey, and, and hey, Dave you, DeCamp. You even go got the other Kit Kit Clarenberg on, on. So there you go. <laughs> Actually, there's there's more than one Kit here. There's also Kit Knightley from Off Guardian. Well, so he's one of the co-founders. Oh my goodness! There's another Kit. I thought there's I was another like, Kit. There's another Kit. I, I, you know why? I think I got to get all the other Kits around here because I think it's time fin finally a uh, time to settle the great debate: Kit versus Kit versus Kit. There you go. There's the only independent one kit. kit convention. <laughs> And yes, uh, folks, uh, Savvy Sabs is in here too. Like a lot of, uh, like, here's the thing. If you, if you don't recognize the artistry, this is from the Zago brothers. Uh, we actually did a segment in which the Zago brothers did this great. And I mean, this very beautiful mural of, uh, everyone in independent media, including uh, this was the first time ever hard lens media was ever included in one of those. And so the Zago brothers, uh, were very generous because it takes a lot of time to make art. Let's face it, you know, being an artist, especially one that has to draw and use what I don't know what stuff you all y'all artists use in this day and age, but I'm pretty sure it's a lot. So there you go. I'm not going to mispronounce things or anything else of that nature, but you know, making all these wonderful drawings of some of our favorite content creators. You got the Jimmy door show. You got the last American vagabond. You got RBN. There's the RBN crew there. You got antiwar.com. You got uh, convo couch. You got the entire crew of the gray zone, by the way. So, uh, keep on doing that. You got Richard Medhurst. You got so many wonderful, beautiful people here. You even got Nico House in the house. So there you go. Hey, wait, I mean, go I'm, back, go back. I knew it's case study QB was in there too. If you, if oh. you, you missed from 2023, he did a beautiful illustration of case. Oh, you see it there he is. I see him. There's, There's case. case. We got turn. We got turncoat Don in there. Yes. And 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 shut the fuck up, shit, Lib Joe. I actually brought. I I, I linked the oh, video. I haven't seen I him recently, forever. I, I hope he's he disappeared. Okay. He disappeared, he but oh. I published an unpublished video of his from 2023 yesterday on INR two days ago at INN, and I actually linked it. It it roasts Jake and Anna. Um, oh, so okay. I, if you wanted to play it, if you wanted Hold to play on. it, I actually linked yeah. it in the private yeah. chat. Actually, we, we can, it's about five minutes. You know, but what? it's really funny. You know what? Guess what? Nostalgia. I I, I am in charge, and Joe. Any off chance you're you're watching this, or you're you know you you're wondering perhaps you're perhaps you're sneezing because somebody's talking about you. I don't know if y'all ever heard that old old uh 
old superstition that, you know, somebody's talking about you, you sneeze. So let's pull this up here. Hey, for Joe, this one's for you, buddy. Let me just say that off the bat. All of you. Why don't you go kiss? Wait, go back to the beginning. You missed it. She goes, she starts to say, I think Nina Turner's awesome. Nina Turner's awesome. Let me just say that off the bat. All of you. Why don't you go kiss the ass of a politician today? This story has to do with Nina Turner and ridiculous people attacking her. But then there are people who literally just spend their time going on Twitter, (laughs) accusing people of things they haven't done, causing all this drama. And then they spend all of their time just talking about the drama and reading tweets on their show. I don't know what to say. Uh, They said uh, Aaron Mate yelled at me. Oh, Aaron Mate lied. Oh, Oh, Aaron Mate. Everyone cares what Aaron Mate has to say. The guy who denies that Syrian children were killed with chemical attacks. Yeah, yeah. And gets paid by the Yeah, fuck you. Fuck you, Aaron. I can't, I can't. (laughs) See, that's what happened. I can't stand I can't stand that guy. And I can't stand the very intentional disinformation they put out there in regard to disgusting dictators around the world. The very people they seem to be working for, to be quite honest with you. And this is what Caitlin Johnstone says. Kate, Jenk and Anna seem to be running a human trafficking ring out of the TYT <laughs> office. I have no evidence for this. It just seems that way to me. This is a perfectly legitimate thing for me to do. I get to have an opinion. <laughs> and in that regard, I give you Jimmy Dore, one of the laziest, untalented people literally on the planet. Everybody, hey, everyone's favorite jag off from Chicago. There you go, Jimmy from Chi-Town. We know who you are. You probably get paid by NATO to go interview war criminals, don't you? You probably took $20 million from fucking Jeffrey Katzenberg to go gaslight people that Medicare for all is a bad idea right now. And then they spend all of their time just talking about the drama and reading tweets on their show. Um, And finally, Nina Turner responds to that by saying, let me be clear, Jimmy Dore repackages anti-blackness and right-wing talking points and sells it in a way that some leftists are willing to buy. Mm -hmm. Very by the way. He has used right-wing talking points against me multiple times and even defended Rittenhouse. He makes millions doing it. Anna Kasparian of the Young Turks, quote, I was wrong. Young Turks Kasparian admits she bought into false Rittenhouse narrative. Mad respect. But I was wrong about that. Okay, so I want to correct the record. I was, in fact, wrong about that. Remember, it was Jimmy Dore who called for an alliance with the freaking Boogaloo Boys. That's what he called for. The Boogaloo Boys who have this, I don't know if they still do, but their whole strategy was to infiltrate uh, black organizations and Black Lives Matter to start a what? A race war. So yeah, he wants an alliance with them. <laughs> Your aunt. Can't we just get along? No, we can't get along. He wore your four piece. You're against racism. You're against police brutality. What else, What would be some other big things? Uh, pro-sex work decriminalization, legalize all drugs, uh, end all the wars, uh, close the ICE detainment camps. Pretty much our our core foundation is if you know if you're not a bigoted piece of shit and you understand that both parties are the problem and you're willing to do something about it and you're willing to get out in the streets and you're willing to make your voice heard, you're welcome. It doesn't matter where you come from or what you do. You don't hate the gays? <laughs> nope. <laughs> okay. Wait, what? hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Dr. Nick writes on kick. Bonus episode equals bonus hole. Oh, oh, oh. I was told matter, that. Matter of fact, I'm not the most straight man myself, so. So yeah, he wants an alliance with them. You could even do hashtag Nina was right. All of you, why don't you go kiss the ass of a politician today? Go fuck yourself in the ass with a pine tree. And she's pointing out the irony and the hypocrisy. (laughs) So, all of you, why don't you go kiss the ass of a politician today? (laughs) 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 Uh, I've said this before, I think Mitch McConnell is probably the best politician of my lifetime. All of you, why don't you go kiss the ass of a politician today? (laughs) Part of what he's doing is protecting Donald Trump. So he's saying, oh, no, that I miss him so much. The FBI does is bad. So them going after Donald Trump, then by definition is bad. Remember, Donald Trump good and must be protected. Go fuck yourself in the ass with a pine tree. That, so that's the state committing violence on people. So he could do a photo op, not because for pe- not for people's safety, not to make things safe, not to restore order, not to protect businesses, not to nothing. Just so Trump could go do a photo op. Let's be clear, he's a right winger. He is. 100%. Uh, right winger. If you're a left winger who still thinks Jimmy Dore is on the left, when he never criticizes 
Trump, Tucker Carlson, anyone in the right wing never, ever, ever does it. He had the police assault people. That's what they're doing. What the fuck do you call this? He had them tear gas people beat the shit out of them. So the cops show up and that's what's called a police riot. Look at them. They're pushing people over. They're just beating the shit out of people. That's what Trump did. And if you're a Trumper, your guy's a fucking pussy and, uh, uh, and a bully. Bullies are always pussies. I don't criticize Democrats because I favor Republicans. I criticize Democrats because they favor Republicans. It's Jimmy reviewing Jimmy reviewing Jimmy. Oh, Joe. Jimmy inside Jimmy inside Jimmy. I love that. Joe, That's too funny. Joe, yeah. I Joe, miss Joe miss so Joe, much. Joe, we miss you. Hashtag Joe, where are you? And I hope it's not Joe Mencia or either that. Joe Biden might have kidnapped our Joe because Joe, listen. If you need Harlan's me to do a rescue operation, send out the flare. We will find you. We will find you. So there you go. Uh, so look, I'm really excited for this. So this is happening again, October 27th. All right. The uh, Sun, yeah, Sunday, Sunday, Sunday night on all the INN channels. Um, Sunday night. We're going to stream it on during. How do we during? How do we miss that? Uh, mm -hmm. Reef and I will we'll get all all gussied up formal and and we'll go through all of the. So I create a Web page dedicated to each honoree. And we'll go through the page. We'll go through some of their links and talk about why they're an honoree. Show their Zago illustration and go through, you know, the class 2024 first. And then we will start and go back and show some of the people in previous years and the Zago illustrations that people really have not seen. There's over a hundred of them that he made. Um, Lucio was an absolute star. I, I love that guy to, to pieces. Uh, he stepped up. He even made a... a uh, one just yesterday and sent sent it over. I said, hey, you know, I realized that Mondo Weiss made a few changes and they have a new managing editor who's been there a long time. Could you could you do me a favor? Could you do us a favor and real quick kind of throw he was able to do that like within two within a day or two and I was shocked. He's amazing. So shout out to Lucio Zago. Follow at Zago Brothers, Z-A-G-O Brothers, all yep. one word on Twitter. Uh he's he's great. Um, and his art's beautiful. Yeah, actually, I've 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 had a few messages with uh, uh, the the account of with the Zago brothers. I don't know uh, if it's one of their managers or their their the the guy himself, but they've been very respectable. And uh, again, I'm I'm I I I, I would never expect hard lens me to ever be because you know when we started this i saw i we, i think we've all seen those murals before of our favorite podcasters or commentators or independent journalists, and I I. I never expected that. And that was like, uh, that was earlier this year. And I got to tell you, after dealing with a lot of things I've been going through, um, that really uh, put some food into my soul. And it was very nice to stand in solidarity with a lot of other outstanding and heavy hitters. Okay. Like, I, hey, I, I know when I'm standing among giants, and it was really good to uh, be part of that. I know Sabby, she's got hers framed up in her show uh, or in, the, in, in her studio when, when she does her show. Um, I gave, the Zago brothers were kind enough to give me two, uh, not only for myself, but I gave one to Daniel. And it's just been, uh, and he, he even uh, wrote us a thank you letter, which was really nice. So I'm looking forward for the Sunday event. Uh, when it happens, please share it, Indy, so that way I could tweet it out there so that way everyone in the audience is aware. So go to INN, please follow their work. Uh, but I do want to say this though, Indy. I do want to say this though. Um, I'm glad that there are that your network is acknowledging the work of so many great people uh, who are in this space. And may there be another event like this next year and the year after, celebrating people speaking truth to power. And uh, I want to want to give you the final word on this. I think uh, what's what's your biggest takeaway after doing this now for like three years? Well, I think that. Excellence in independent media is really hard. Uh, maintaining integrity. People offer you all kinds of things when you get larger. Uh, they offer you sponsorships. They offer you all kinds of things. And it's tough to stay the course and to stay focused and to stay on what the objective is. And I think a lot of these, all of these honorees really do that, at least for the most part. Look, people stray. People have issues here and there. But these are, look, nobody is perfect. These are the people who get it right most, most often, most consistently, that we rely on the most to get it right and to provide us the counter narrative to what the corporate narrative is and to actually tell us the truth, 
because they don't have a financial stake in telling us what they're telling us. And all they want is to get to the truth. Mm -hmm. And you know what? Now more than ever, we have to start speaking truth to power. And um, it's at, I think as we continue to push forward, I'm going to say this. I urge more citizen journalists to step up. <clears throat> I'm urging everyone to do what you can now. Again, being in this space, especially in this day and age where there is censorship and suppression, I will not promise you uh, roses and triumphs, but we need more people to speak up of what's happening in your neck of the woods, what's happening in your neighborhood, how you could be involved in your community, but also empowering people with knowledge. Because you know what? Since doing this now for seven years, there's one thing I, I found out, and that is, yes, there's corruption here in Chicago, and yes, we're the world heavyweight champion, but you know what? You hear about other people's corruption in different states, red and blue, and you know what? The universal conclusion is coming down to, hey, your politicians treat you like crap too? So do ours! And there's a big agreement that something needs to change, otherwise these bastards are going to keep us under their jackboot, which... Let's face it, we all love our friend Commissar Hans, but he's a fictional character. The real jackboot, not so much fun.